And for Jackson State, they are starting a different quarterback here in the day today's game. They are starting Jacobian Morgan, as a matter of fact. A little wrinkle. This is an area where Coach Taylor talks about third down and short. You can open up the playbook a little bit more. You see the running game by Morgan. But Jackson State, they want to keep the offense on the field. They want to stack first downs and keep this Delta Devil defense alive. Incomplete pass. Pass was intended. Second down and 10 now for Jackson State. Jacoby and Morgan. Wasn't expected to start today, and he gets the call and the run by. And now they'll have to show the four receiver set. Blitz shown by Valley. And here is Morgan with the pass, and it is complete. And that's going to be. At home last week to Alabama State 24 19. Coach Taylor said they had a great week of practice, though. Back to the sideline, and this time DJ Stevens, the tight end, gets the catch. Game had played in two ball games, but only thrown one pass so far this season. Morgan, little swing pass out to Moultrie, and he's going to be near first down. He may have. Like Summer has made an unexpected reappearance here in late October. Delta Devil showing blitz. Morgan with the throw, incomplete. <laughs> first down now for the Delta Devils, their first series. Swing pass to the outside as the offense trying to gain some momentum early on here. In thing, he doesn't turn the football over a lot for a freshman. He really protects the rock. Only no interceptions on the season. Malik Myers with the carry. And he gets... They feel like they have a hidden gem here in Tajarian Williams. Definitely a big kid. Williams trying to fight off the defenders and he goes down Jackson State's defense. And again, momentum. That's what the Delta Devils talked about, being able to keep that momentum. Pass over the middle, that's a great catch. Here's the keeper and once again, Jackson State's defense what they've been able to do. Yeah, and they're always looking forward to this ball game against their in-state rivals, and they definitely want to make a good showing for the home fans, particularly coming off the big win they had last year. Today, they would actually jump ahead of Jackson State in the standings. When's the last time we heard that? Moultrie on the carry, trying to regain his footing. Moultrie had 10 carries, 68 yards, and a touchdown. Want to have that number increase. Duke Miller motion for... Jackson State. Morgan will keep the football and he will pick up a first down. For the Orange in 2020, he was the seventh true freshman in Syracuse history to start a game at quarterback. And Morgan will take off with the football once again and he spins, shakes, and bakes and gets to the 30 yard line. They're on defense, on offense. They want to protect the Rock. They had three fumbles last week against Alabama State. And they also won a grounded pound, as you see here. They lost the football there. Another fumble we just talked about. And now the Delta Devils will be forced to defend the end zone in short territory. <laughs> Fabian McCray with the big today and the remainder of the year. Morgan looking, gets the ball to Fabian McCray. Tackled right before he got to the five-yard line. Miller in motion. Here is the give. Touchdown, Jackson State. Moultrie going in for six. As you watch, no penetration for the Delta Devils. Combo block. He bounces off one defender and then just run. But that is where they are. Handoff up the middle. Gain of a few on first down. To shorten the game. Yeah, their key is definitely they do not want this game to be an up-tempo ball game. Complete across the 15. And that goes out to time of the defense on the field. And the Delta Devils, they stack everybody up the line here on third and two. Williams trying a little jump pass, takes off with it, and picks up a first down.
Wow, you see, he's lost about 10 pounds since he came to school. Imagine what he was six months ago. Complete pass to Jared Wilson. And he picks up positive yards here on first. Yeah, slowing the tempo of this game down. Williams, nice fake, takes off with the football before being wrapped up. Yeah, good recovery that time by... Williams hands the football off. Boy, and that pile just keeps moving almost to about... And those battles kind of toughen them up for the football games on Saturday. Pass to Kobe Chambers, and he is wrapped up right away. All kinds of white shirts just surrounding him. So the Delta Devils will take over first down and 10. And here is the give. And that's going to be Jared Wilson on the carry to start things out here. I want to keep this Jackson State defense on the field, especially since it's a warm day here in Mississippi. It is a little warm in the Delta, as it looks like it'll be so far this season. Better on fourth down than they are on third down. Here's Williams with a handoff, and I think he may be short. Depends yeah. on the spot. He could be a half yard short. I didn't like the deep handoff there. You go seven yards deep to give it to your tailback. Let's look at this again. Is uh, getting the handoff to Jacoby Thomas. Yeah, Thomas is their big back, but they didn't get a lot of push from the offensive line. Good job by Jackson State. Nice. First down and 10 for Jackson State now. Morgan. Nice shot downfield. It is complete. And a fumble. Fabian McCray caught the football and then fumbled the football, recovered by Mississippi Valley. Only to put the football on the turf. Good protection, nice throw by Morgan. Excellent route, but fighting for extra yardage and a great strip of the football. Exactly the ideal field position for Mississippi Valley as they are inside the 20 once again. Here's the handoff. And for the Delta, just slowing the ball game down. Once again, the carry by Jared Wilson doesn't get much as he's thrown to the turf. Third down now for Valley. Williams under pressure, throws incomplete. In and out of, off the hands of the receiver. Valley Delta Devil, watch it, he pulls it down on the draw, and boom, the helmet comes off, but Morgan stays up. They didn't have a kicker. He was having the game plan without a kicker. Pass is, looks like it's going to be complete. On the field, you need to pick up a couple of first downs on this drive, try to go down and get some points before halftime. And the give, where they really are stacking the line. Beaver, mm -hmm. the junior from Greenwood, Mississippi, in the backfield once again. Here is Williams, gets it out to Carrick Ross. Ross gets big yardage and a first down for Mississippi Valley. Ross, this ball towards that midfield stripe and continue this drive. Williams escapes pressure momentarily and then goes down. The Jackson State defense just relentless. Three set here by Jackson State. Over the middle, good catch. And out of bounds. Kobe Chick. Third down and a lot. Williams passing over the middle, incomplete. That pass was intended for Chambers, and the Delta Devils will have to give the ball up again. Yeah, absolutely. He's done a great job. Great legend here at Mississippi Valley. And the pass is incomplete as Morgan tried to get the ball out to three. And now they begin this drive at their 29. Here's the handoff. Nothing doing great defensive push. Moultrie gets tackled almost. Third down here for Jackson State. Morgan going up top. And this will be well out of the reach of receivers. The closest one was Kobe Powell. And that'll bring... Trying to get their offense 
in motion. They've sputtered most of this first half. Williams down the sideline. Great job by the wide receiver for Mississippi Valley. Malik Myers. The devil. Shalen Hughes with a little wrestling match with Myers. Williams takes off with the football. Gets on the other side of the midfield strike. Good. Delta Devils showing four receivers. Williams pulling the ball down, and it's incomplete. Tried to get it out to Malik Myers. Myers couldn't hold on to the football. But Williams wanted to, to his safety valve. The receiver has to make that catch. Williams, nice, nice catch this time by Myers. Turns we back to the complete. inside and gets a first down. Mississippi Valley. Williams takes his time. Gets the completion to the tight end Jackson Davis, who's thrown down in Guthrie and Davis, starting to share pleasantries oh and a flag goodness. on the play. You gotta keep your again. You put yourself right back near midfield. Williams, and he's going down. Big tackle. Forced that sack. Phillip Webb, 6'5", 265. Here Williams. comes again. And once again, a sack back in Valley territory. And third down in a bunch. Here is the give. Cross the 40. Big run by the running back from Mississippi Valley, Jared Wilson who keeps his footing and gets some of that yardage back, 47. Williams escaped pressure initially and then tackled by Jeremiah Williams. So that's three consecutive, which means if they can get to the 29-yard line, they'd have a shot. Eight seconds left here in the half. Morgan going deep. Looking, tipped, and out of bounds to end the first half. Well, they had a shot at it in the end. Absolutely, and as we get ready here for the second half kickoff, they have to make those adjustments. I'm sure Coach Wade has talked to his team about those penalties as they come out with a little trickeration here to begin the third. A little flea flicker for Mississippi Valley to start things off, and the Fabian fence getting around the edge. Executive order to end the first half. And for Mississippi Valley, they got to get things started. Nice pass to the tight end, and that's Jackson Davis. A little bit of redemption because he's one of the ones that got quarter. And that defense of Jackson State just relentless. Jared Wilson on the carry. Like they did that against Pine Bluff. The challenge was playing for 60 minutes. Here's Williams going deep. And it is intercepted. What a catch made by the safety, B.J. Washer. He has three years left in this program. He understands the system. He makes all the calls in the secondary, and he's a local kid from Jackson, Mississippi. Just the way he laid out in order to catch this football was incredible. And the intended receiver was deep inside their own territory, but they'll take it. And there's all kinds of movement. It's a fumble. There's a fumble on the play. The Delta Devils had the ball inside the 15 yard line. Oh my. Wow. Is going to make something happen. Here comes Mississippi Valley. And this was just a poor snap. My goodness. And the big fella pounces on it. Joe's. They give me that biscuit. No one's getting the. Chambers was in motion. Williams steps up, and he is just bear hugs. After that exchange of turnovers gives you great field position. Flag on the play. Williams on the carry, but wait a minute, there is the mark. Boy, that. Your, your toes underneath your shoulders and making sure you have good balance. Williams going deep once again, and it is caught! 
Touchdown, Mississippi Valley. What an amazing catch. Trifying catch. Holding against Mississippi Valley. You gotta be kidding me. Now for Mississippi Valley. My goodness. Williams looking. Escaping pressure. He'll take off with the football. Gets inside the 25 yard line and a big hit for Jackson State. That's going to be John Huggins with another ball game when you have a 40 play disparity like what happened last week. Here's the throw. Jackson Dixon going up for it. Incomplete. He was well covered on that play. His first field goal attempt of the year. Here's a snap. It's up and it is way off. Not even close. And here's the thing, Alexander Davis, his first field goal attempt of the year. Oh, here on their second possession. Defense now on the field for the Delta Devils. And Morgan takes off with the football. Big gain on first down, and Morgan gets into Mississippi Valley State Territory. Got to give it to those guys up front. The Buffet Busters just absolutely opening up real estate. Morgan looking and throwing out of bounds. He had some pressure coming. On that, you know, he says that he knows that he can do this job now. Morgan goes deep once again, looking for the receiver, incomplete. It's a tackle is Carrick Ross, so they made something out of nothing as Williams out. Williams. Here's a give. Nice carry by Wilson. And you know, Coach Wade. In ball games, you may not come out on top on the scoreboard, but are you doing the things necessary to compete? Was that an interception? It was. What an interception by Jackson State. That man he play as he just jumps the route and cuts in front of the intended receiver. Wait. See if they try to go deep here after the change of possession. And here is the gift. Nice run on first down. The line really pushing forward. And on the carry once again. This time, tipped away. Nice defense by Mississippi Valley. Two turnovers and a missed field goal attempt. Omar Emmons tipping that ball away. Dropped it. And once again, Morgan drops the football. Man, I don't know what is going on with Jackson State and not being able to hold on of someone that has suffered with cancer of some form. So you definitely uh, want to honor those. And we use the month of October to do that. And you see the uh, some of the kids with pink gloves, pink towels, and things of that nature. A very tough defense, and that front seven is not to be played with. Here's a give and no gain on the play. And Looks you're like Kobe Thomas on the kick. Working with a 14-yard touchdown rush. Six plays, 57 yards, 241 off the clock. Williams takes off with the ball, and then he turns back to the inside and meets a bear hug. Yeah, no himself, the Syracuse transfer. Here is the keeper by Morgan on first down. They stripped the football again. They were going for it. Morgan able to hold on to it. No, you love the camera one camera person was on that one again the backpedaling Got to sign him up And there you see it more reaching for the football as McGee gets the catch You know when you look at Jackson State's drop They're probably their most impressive drive of the game last week was in the fourth quarter And here's a throw by Morgan and it is incomplete Now, is that game on campus? No, that game will be at the soccer stadium where they normally play their home games. Flea flicker, and here's the throw, and it is incomplete. Tried a little trick or -ration. And just waving his fingers. No, no, no. Here's the throw, incomplete. He tried to get it into the hands of his wide receiver. He's been their big play target so far this afternoon. 
Kobe Bates, the inside slot guy, and that's who they get the oh, ball to, and man. he dropped the ball. It was down by his ankles. Couldn't pull the ball in. Yeah, you got to have a little bit better throw if you. The fourth against Texas Southern, then the five, and the 18th against Alcorn. Here's Morgan, pass, and it is no gain on the play. Great oh, job over in the second half. And now they're running stack formations to both sides. Morgan will go deep. Incomplete. Tried to get it out to the wide receiver, Isaiah Spencer. An opportunity. They've done a great job defensively against this Jackson State offense. Ball on the ground again, Centuria. What is that, the fifth fumble of the ball game fifth for Jackson State? time the ball has been on the ground for Jackson State. Or, you know, just no penalties. Williams with the pass. Gets it out to Chambers, and he gets positive yardage and here on first down. Kobe Chambers. Second down and one now. Williams will take the ball. He will push the pile. Still on his feet. And finally, they blow the whistle. Delta Devils will try once again here. And Jared oh, Wilson with the run and a flag on the play. Every time they get a nice offensive play. Hey, you got to just keep playing because you don't want that play to snowball into other negative plays. Comes the blitz. Williams going down. The eighth sack of the afternoon. The center, so if you're the left tackle, you have to look to the outside. So that's a corner blitz by Anthony Petty. Here's Williams once again, oh. incomplete. The little things. Just to their personnel. Absolutely, absolutely. Early in the season, they were running up tempo a million miles an hour, and this is not an offense that could handle that. Here's a throw. Oh, Interception no. again by Jackson State. And coming up with it, Huggy John Huggins with a receiver. And this is just the growing pains of a young quarterback. Under pressure, fires underneath. Just not recognizing the coverage. He thought he had the receiver, but just a better play. Exceptions from for Jackson State. Really close, and then that's one of the penalty yards. Seven for 75 for Valley, two for 10 for Jackson, and here comes Morgan. First down on the draw. And we've seen Morgan. Moultrie in the ball game now. Stevens in motion. Morgan looking. Try to get Stevens, and it's going to be a pass interference on Mississippi Valley. Jackson State having problems getting lined up. Morgan looks, fires, touchdown Jackson State. Great catch, 5-14. And it's going to be Jaden Sisk, the freshman from DeSoto, Texas. As uh, the day is wrapped up, Went to W.T. White High School in DeSoto, Texas. Here's a pass out to his tight end, Jackson Davis. Pepper's right, Dino Maldonado. And that time, no misprint there. Jared Wilson goes down after a defensive rush. And joining the festivities here at Mississippi Valley. 21-0 our score. Here's Morgan. Takes off with the football. He's hit, spins, and gets about a few yards on the play. You know, I'll tell you what, before this game, so <laughs> <laughs> Jackson State trying to make something happen. Good tackle. Yeah, for Jackson football a lot with Morgan. Seven McGee on that catch. 
And there he goes once again. Seven McGee only picked up two. Morgan back, goes deep. It is incomplete. Great defensive play by the defensive back. May have been a little pass interference on that play, but no call and a great defensive play. Portia gets the ball, spins, shakes, and finally whistled down. Already had above Jackson State with 100 more yards than Valley, roughly. Here's Morgan going up top, trying to add to that total, and it's incomplete. Portia was the intended receiver. Caught. Good catch, good pickup by Paul. Oh, they're gonna, they say he dropped it, so incomplete pass. The walk on. Three of three on field goal attempts this year. Oh, that did not even get close. Knuckleball. And so field position much of the game, but really in the second half, the offense had good field position and was un unable to take advantage of it. Pass complete to Jackson Davis. Big defense, Texas Southern Alcorn both at home, so they'll spend the last three weeks of the season at home. Here's a pitch out. Oh, what a hit! And still going, the running back for Mississippi Valley fans. Actually, he's... Throw is complete. Out to Chambers, Maldonado with the throw. In November. And Valley will punt the football. Punt team has been busy tonight. And they'll run this one out. Out to midfield. And a big hit. Antoine Barham Jr., the redshirt. 14 points through three quarters. Here's a carry by Moultrie, and he keeps the clock going. 3.06 in county. A lot of turnovers the last couple of weeks. Throw complete. Mm, it's a big hit. It's going to be Isaiah Spencer with the catch. I guess you could say explosion that you expected, but you have to credit Mississippi Valley. Some great defense. Miller on the carry. Nice stiff arm. And it looks like that... Jackson State will get the first down. Set is always a challenge. And you know, when he talked about being close, is not enough. Miller on the carry inside the 10 yard line. Morgan will keep the ball, tries to take off with it. He's tackled right at the 10 yard line. For Jess. Morgan takes off with the football and is tackled inside the five. Rip the football away. It may be a fumble. Valley may have the football with 56 seconds remaining in the game. Another fumble. Morgan fumbles the ball going in. Third lost fumble. Did he? It was stripped yeah, once again. It, yeah, it came out before he was down. So Eric okay. Three lost fumbles for Jackson last week. Three lost fumbles this week. Big run for the Delta Devils. Fence in the open field gets out to the 45-yard line. So talk about trying to fit. Continues to run. We'll have our player of the game coming up in just a little bit. Fant once again on the run. 30, 20, 10. Fant into the end zone for the Delta Devils. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> and he throws up the hooks going in. Oh, what a way to be taking it to the house. Boy. Right up the middle. Did he account for all 98 yards on this drive? Set <laughs> on two carries. It's going to look nice in the stat column tomorrow. And Jackson State will kneel on the football, and they will effectively run out the clock.